Imagine for a moment, reaping the benefits of owning your own solar photovoltaic electric system without the high upfront costs or logistical difficulties of placing a system on your home or business. If funded, DMEA will construct 10 kilowatt solar arrays at both our Montrose and Reed offices to give our members more affordable access to renewable energy. The program allows multiple individuals to own a piece of a single photovoltaic array. There are some more obvious benefits of a community solar array, not the least of which is if you're unable to install a PV array at your site, either because of having the budget, maybe some covenants, you just have shading issues, you can still get the benefits of, of net metering by participating in the community solar array program. While the program would initially consist of just one array at our DMEA headquarters, the plan is to expand the program across our entire service territory. One of the most exciting things about receiving the grant funds is that it would be the seed money that builds that first array. And then the members, of course, by virtue of their matching funds and purchasing portions of that array or all of a single array, they would be fostering the next array that gets built. By encouraging communities to make land available for a CSA, DMEA can help keep the cost down and improve participation levels in the program. Possible locations for future sites include parks, schools, or municipal buildings. Should the program prove popular, DMEA will undertake additional installations resulting in the creation of between two and six full-time positions in Montrose and Delta counties in the future. I think it would be really beneficial um, here in, in Paonia there are two types of people here, some of the folks that are really pragmatic and then there we have people that are, have a real environmental bent and um, in both cases you're going to appeal to them either by saving money or, or saving the world. Maybe. Um, as you talked about this, one of the thoughts I had was a you know, great place or an array would be out by our new wastewater treatment plant which has great southern access, very visible from the road and thereby stimulating people to see that hey there's this project going on. So what, what this would offer is a way you could purchase one panel a year, for example, which is fairly uh, budgetable and would be something that could be handled by a number of households. And so for the people that are really having that big hurdle of how can I get even a couple of kilowatts up at my house, this opens up a whole new set of possibilities to them. I see uh, many times that uh, there's a challenge with our residents in uh, Placing a, a PV array at their residence uh, may be covenants that restrict, it may be uh, small lot sizes, it may be uh, improper orientation of their residence, and uh, this, this gives them an opportunity uh, to use uh, renewable energy. I think it lends an opportunity for the local schools. You'd be able to bring students from the classroom down, have a hands-on experience to, to visually come down and see what photovoltaic arrays are about, the electricity production associated with it, and naturally, any skilled teacher would be able to, to sort of expand that into a broader lesson. But I think the educational component is, is really probably one of those intangible benefits that's hard to quantify in terms of its financial impact that is perhaps most substantial and maybe in some respects the most substantial impact of doing the entire community solar array project.